What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. I know what you're thinking. Kendall, man, why do you look like you're about to go ball at the local recreational park? Well, let me tell you, you probably already know because it's like probably the title and thumbnail. We got a skunk again. Let me tell you, boys, right now it's still trapping season. I know that you're watching it and it's not trapping season, but I do assure you at the time this video is filmed, it is trapping season. Another thing, if you don't know, with skunks, late February, early March, that is their prime breeding season. That's why I've literally caught two in about a week. I don't know how much farther we're gonna get to him he's literally not moved i'll go ahead and show you guys but uh the funny thing about this and actually caught him on a dog proof I put a dog proof on that tree right there originally just trying to catch a coon but then right over here is where we actually caught the last one now what i'm actually going to be doing is shooting this okay now he's waking up we woke him up which is okay because we kind of need him to move around in order for us to get a good long shot we are going to try to eat this guy which means we're going to have to kill him but the way we're going to kill him just like last time we're going to go for a lung shot now supposedly nine out of ten times if you shoot him in the lungs they won't spray in my entire life i've had two skunks i shot the first one in the head definitely sprayed i had the second one which you actually saw not too long ago i shot it in the lungs and it didn't spray a lot it still sprayed some just because i guess i didn't hit it perfectly but uh, right now his butt is aimed right at me but he's like asleep so there's not much we can really do i'm just gonna work my way around here he almost acts like something's done killed him but he's a skunk so nothing's gonna mess with him. he's either like really asleep or he just doesn't want us to see him which it's a little bit too late. I just want him to move around a little bit so that I can get a good lung shot. Right now, all I can save his butt from their shooting position. I can get a good lung shot from this position. We're really close to him, though. This skunk has very little even acknowledged our presence. He's right there. He's in a dog-proof trap. Big old white head. But I don't know. He's, he's really not moved much. Hello, skunky, 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 skunky. I don't know how far I can should get because, I mean, I'm going to let y'all look at me. I'm not that far from the skunk. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will get up close and personal with him. His head is raising up now. It's okay, buddy. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just here to eat you. Right here from this exact position, he is broadside. But here's the thing. The shooting position up there at the mule, not broadside. Can't get a good long shot on him. I'm actually going to shoot him straight through the butt. But we're not going to do that because that's not how you're supposed to do it. I've got a 223 today. What I'm hoping is that it's such a quick bullet that it'll go straight through him and maybe he won't notice. Because it is extremely fast. Normally, I'd try to shoot them with a 22, but I'll just be honest, guys. At the moment, I've been switching ammo a little bit. I'm not 100% confident in my 22 right now. So, I'm not going to take any chances because there is no time to, you know, take a chance. This is thing that's skunk. And if we hit him in the wrong spot at all, he's spraying everywhere. But, yeah, because of the chance he will get me, that's why I'm literally wearing a bunch of, you know, I don't know, sports clothing. Because I don't play sports and I never use it. I'm wearing a KG hoodie, though. This is the OG of OG of OG of OG hoodie. The very first one ever to be created. Never released because it turned out purple instead of navy. But that's beside the point, guys. The green machine. 223. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it's going to have to turn out somehow. Okay, guys. Kendall decided to go to the left side. He's got a better view of the skunk over here. Because if he went to the right side, the tree would be in the way. He says he's got a pretty good shot here, so we'll see how he does. He, he croaked over. Listen, what happened right there was perfect execution, as good as it could be. I believe he's about done, but we'll still give him a little time just because why wouldn't we not? He's a skunk. We yeah. kind of work on his terms. Long shot, he puckered up. It scared him a little bit. He felt a sting in the skunk's mind. He didn't know whether it was a bullet or a flea. And if it was a flea, he didn't want to try to spray a flea because that makes no sense at all. He didn't see any immediate targets that he could get in range. Me and Abram were both out of range of his spray. That right there, we got him, boys. He's down for the count. And I don't think he sprayed. I watched him from when his tail went up to when he fell over. Now, usually I don't show the kill shots, but this is a little bit different because whenever you shoot a skunk, anything can happen. So I completely understand if you don't like to kill shots, usually I never show them. But on this particular video, this particular animal, this particular situation, it was kind of a big part of the story. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> Even though we don't think this skunk sprayed at all, the first, like a week ago, you guys saw it, we didn't have a good experience and we're kind of scarred for life, not gonna lie. Now, it did spray, not necessarily on us, but it sprayed all over itself because I guess it couldn't really point its butt at that moment. I don't know. Abram's gonna get a big stick, we'll go poke it first. Moving in on those skunk. I think we got him though. I think we done a job well done. Yeah, he's out of here. 
He's gone, guys. Let's go. Didn't spray. I feel like that's a job well done. Now, I am going to say, there is people out there who do all kinds of things with skunks. They'll take a wild skunk like this, walk up to it, and let it go and it not spray. I'm just happy that I could kill it without it spraying. Now, because this is a skunk and we literally prepared for the worst, I've got two garbage bags. One, just going to set him in the garbage bag. Nothing special. Two, going to put him in another garbage bag just because I don't want to smell it. Right up on him. Can't smell anything. That there is a good skunk i guess now i still don't want to get too close to him it's not because he's alive but because he's still a skunk and he still stinks go ahead get this guy out of a dog proof trap grab this little guy or girl i don't know and right there is the skunk guys Oh, wow. I'm starting to smell him a little bit, but mm. nothing like the first one. Just a good old solid little skunk. Little white head, just like the first one. Like I said, guys, we're going to put him in the bag. Then we'll take him home, skin him, do all that. Then we'll end up even cooking him. We kill it, we eat it. That's our new motto. That's all she wrote. I guess we'll set that back maybe here in a day or two. Maybe tonight, try to get a little coon. He didn't spray, so it didn't ruin the area for every other animal we have potential to catch. And now I'm going to take my tracksuit off. Okay guys, we're back at the scene where we just caught that skunk. We're gonna, it's a biohazardous area. We found record numbers of radiation. Both me and Abram are suited up right now, full body armor or whatever you call this. This is not something to mess around with. Okay guys, I think we're done here. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna leave the area. We're gonna let everyone know that they need to stay out of the area for at least 30 to 40 days. Preferably 50. I mean, the longer the better. We have a lot of radiation. I mean, it's peaked up about 48 pounds or something. And so if there's anything I can ask you guys to do, just stay out of this area. And if you see anything like this, please turn around immediately. Thank you. Yo, 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 it's your boy, brother. <laughs> I will say one thing. We actually froze him so that we can actually come to him another day. And, of course, I mean, we had to gain some mental composure. His his vent is aimed right at me. I'm gonna just turn that around like that. Actually, I don't think it matters because his glands is right there. So, before we get started, let me tell you what we're gonna be using to skin it. We're gonna be using a straight KG pocket knife. The thing about this knife is it's brand new. Straight out of the package, not been sharpened at all. I literally got it out of the package like five minutes ago. So it's brand new, and this is exactly what you'll be getting. Also, before I go ahead and dive into it, I want you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and go ahead and hit the like button. Because one like equals one supportive gesture that I won't get sprayed. What? Okay, here we go. First thing, we're going to go from heel to heel. <laughs> now, right there, we're under the skin. KG Pocket Knife doing work, man. Just... No fear here. Just go straight up in there. Don't stop. Won't stop. Hashtag. Great game. Pretty fatty possum, but I don't think that's... I don't it's think a skunk. I'm touching the essence. We're not gonna mess with that right now, though. Oh, yeah. I can smell the essence a little bit. Man, that thing's got a lot of... A lot, a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, I know. That whole thing is just full of skunk spray. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, if that I'm thing kinda, pops. I'm kind of scared. Uh, it doesn't smell exactly like a skunk, but it does smell pretty bad. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to stop right there. I'll be right back. I'm going to, we're going to take out the essence right now. Okay, so first I'm actually going to go through, get a few pieces of meat off. We're not going to eat a ton of it simply because, well, this isn't our main meal for today. We're just wanting to see, is it possible and will we die? We never post another YouTube video 
you'll know that you probably shouldn't eat a skunk. I'm right, we'll gonna go in here, get some of this big leg meat off, and then we'll try to turn it into tenders that are easily and more cookable. Try not to get too close down there to the goods, goods, goods. Okay, there's one little piece, not big, like a nugget. That'll be okay though. It's good enough for what we're trying to do. Skunk nugget. Okay, so now that we got the meat done, now I'm gonna go in for the risky part, the scariest part. I'm going straight for the pure substance. This is probably the worst idea I've had in a long time. Now you play scary music. Duh, 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 duh. You ready for this, Abram? We're going right in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot back and then zoom in. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. That is good. Now I'm gonna come over here, put it in the bottle. It's pure stuff right there. Spilt some on the outside of the bottle, great. Perfect. Never coming off. Oh my goodness. I never thought I'd be doing it. Just kidding, I knew I'd be doing this. That's why I bought the bottle. That's that why I bought the is bottle. Insane. Oh, you, you know the worst it? part? Now we can smell that. And it's pure form. But there's still more in that gland. Mm. There's Ooh. still more in this one gland. That's potent. We might need the gas mask for this. We may actually need the gas mask. We're still going in for more on this one gland. <laughs> that is disgusting. That one gland's really a paid out big. That's just the first one too. Yeah, we still got another one. It really doesn't stink that bad because it's controlled. We're controlling it right now. The other day, whenever it just sprays however it wants to, it's not really controlled, but. Beautiful camera work by Abram Mill. Beautiful steady hand work by Kendall Gray. If I pulled this syringe too far, I'd drop all this. This is America. That is gross. We've almost got a full four ounce bottle out of this and there's definitely more, but I don't know how much more I'm gonna get. I don't know if it's a good idea to be, to try to be greedy with a skunk, man. How much does that stuff sell for on eBay? If we, we can sell one ounce for 35 bucks. Hey, right there we got four ounces. What we at, like $140 or something? <laughs> yeah, so turns out it was a one ounce bottle and we done all that for about 15 bucks. Just kidding, guys. That was the funnest thing I've done all year. And oh my goodness. We got pure skunk essence right there. That is the purest stuff. And I don't think... You can't... You can't even smell it from right here. Dude, that is wild. That's wild. That's a four ounce bottle. Okay, well enough with that. Congratulations, KG. You just made a quick hundo. Actually, you made a quick 15. We'll set that over there. Probably forget about it. Run it over with the mule later. But now we're going to move on, and we're going to start cooking up the skunk. We got a fire stove. What's it called? Stone Rocket st stove. Rocket stove. We got that. And here we go, guys. We got the meat. It's right there. I know, I know. It's not much, but it's skunk nuggets. What can you expect? Then we got the random frying pan there with the fork. That fork is essential for everything cooking outside. Then we have the stone fire. Rocket stove. Rocket stove. I've never heard of this before. Abram, show us a little bit about what you think about it and how in the world are you supposed to use it? Put the wood or the fuel or whatever in there. The air will come in through here. The smoke all comes out this way. Portable, sort of. It's kind of heavy. We can make these homemade too. Yeah, you can make a homemade one out of a propane tank. If you want to see this, I want 400,000 likes. If we can get that, we'll make a homemade one. But anyways, <laughs> now it's time to start the fire. Well, it's not going to do anything now that all the wood's wet from your matches. You got a magnifying glass? You got glasses. You want to just go get a real lighter? I got you. More wet matches. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Ah! Gosh! 
part that actually was on fire stayed on here. I need some KG matches. Okay, so now we got the fire going. I'm gonna set that right on top. This is just a little pan. We'll let that go ahead and get me getting hot. Okay, here, show them off the meat real quick. Just, uh, we'll call them steaks. There is the finished product. Does that not look appetizing? Oh yeah, oh delicious. I actually never want to put that anywhere near my mouth. That's disgusting. What am I doing with my life? I'm ashamed of this. This is not gonna be amazing. This one I think got really good cooked. I might not eat this, that's gross. Kendall, are you ready? <laughs> Come on. What What have you done? I don't think I can put that in video anyhow. Why? Cause Stereotype Kentucky hard. We're eating a skunk, Kendall. We're eating. We're literally eating a skunk. How do you think? Well, first thing, how are you thinking it's going to taste? Do you think it's going to be bad or not? You know, it actually smells pretty good. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. All right, try. I think it'll just taste like burnt meat because I do think. Do you think we maybe cooked it a little bit too long? Yeah. Sorry. All right, that one. A little chewy. Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Mmm. Going in for it. I mean, it can't be too bad. Still just meat. Plus it's contaminated with the drop of essence I actually put on it before I started cooking. Really chewy. That could have been the way we prepared it. But overall, does it taste like a bean boozled skunk spray jelly bean? It sure doesn't. Oh, well then I guess what boys? I think we just passed the test. It's not that far from steak. It's like a really, really weird steak. It's like a really weird steak. It's almost like you can taste a faint, really, really faint hint of the skunk spray, but it's probably just because it, you can still smell it. So, so here's my part. I just accidentally dropped mine. Yeah, but I don't know if that's actually skunk meat or if that's like a raccoon turd. I mean, they're exactly identical. It looks pretty gross. Okay, yeah, I'm still going to eat it. All right, here we go. I mean, I didn't get a big piece of it, but still just tastes like meat. A little bit better than Long John Silver's. Not as great as Wendy's. It's meat. Was it a success? A moderate success. Yeah, I mean, we definitely ate a skunk, but we didn't exactly love the skunk. For what it actually took, the like 50 minutes to prepare the food, yeah, it wasn't really much. However, if we really wanted to, I think we could make that as good, if not better, than the raccoon. No doubt. I think that if we just prepared it the same way in the crock pot with some mashed potatoes, I think it would be just as good, if not better. I disagree. You disagree? Yeah, I think the possum was pretty good. The possum? I mean the raccoon. Raccoon. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Don't edit that out. No. But I tell you what, Grey Gang, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead, join the Grey Gang, because we got a lot of stuff coming like this very soon. Hopefully even better. And don't forget, guys, 400,000 likes, and we'll make a homemade rocket stove. Lower the expectations just a little bit. Maybe like 40,000 or so. 350,000 likes, and we'll build our homemade rocket stove. I'm just kidding, guys. We'll only do it for 300. Thanks for watching Kindle Grace video. Go down, hit the like and subscribe button. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Gang.